Now at noon, the rush is on for some travelers heading to their Christmas destinations, despite health officials urging them to stay at home. Good afternoon. I'm Janelle Burrell. Jim Donovan is off today. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS and Philly. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to travel today ahead of the Christmas holiday. This despite health officials telling people to stay at home because of the pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Harold Monroe spoke with travelers at Philadelphia International Airport. Before you pass an ID, Freddie. Thank you. My mom would probably kill me if I wasn't home for the holidays, so, you know, it's for her and for my pet and my dad as well. Have a good flight. The need to travel home for the holidays. But with coronavirus cases surging, it comes with added risk, a risk many at Philadelphia International Airport say they aren't concerned about. We've got a, a big place rented out that we can all just be there as a family. I mean, that's huge. I mean, this is huge. It's really awesome that we can go and do that to be with them. After Thanksgiving, there was a surge in positive cases, and Philadelphia health officials say it was worse than they were anticipating, and they are once again urging you not to travel for Christmas. We know that's really difficult during this holiday season. That goes against all of our traditions, but we don't want to pass on COVID. You don't want to pass on COVID to your grandmother. Don't make that mistake when we're so close to the finish line. Despite the warnings, airport officials say it will be a busy week. Over the course of the next week, they're expecting 316,000 passengers to pass through Philadelphia International. Meanwhile, AAA says air travel is down 60% compared to a year ago for the Delaware Valley. But the number of travelers is increasing compared to the start of the pandemic. Nobody likes to be told to stay put. People like to move and explore. Uh, that's what we're comfortable doing. People want to return to travel. According to AAA's holiday travel forecast, people are taking a wait and see approach to traveling. They say it's directly linked to the surge in coronavirus cases. As soon as people feel safe again and it's safe to take their families out and about, uh, whether that's a vaccine or increased mitigation efforts, people will return to travel. It's just what we do. Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.